All right. <clears throat> Welcome back to the Preacher Plays. I'm here to uh, entertain you with my horrible playing for a while, including this guy who thinks that he can uh, get the upper hand on me every time, and this guy who's already dead, and that guy who's dead. A um, couple of things I need to do uh, before we make too much more progress. I need to go through here. And one of the things I'm noticing is I can't remember the stupid controls for kick. Yep. The preacher plays poorly. I think what I'm going to have to do is... <laughs> I hate to say look it up, but... Yeah, well, or just do those all the time. I love the backstabs. Backstabs are powerful. Well, let's see. Need to get down here and uh, kill the little dude with the... Uh... There you go, you're dead. All right. Now, I think I got enough money to buy from our lovely merchant who's painting the invisible whatever, Julia. Everything's for sale. All right. Things are getting a horrible goat demon is yeah, I don't want to fight that guy. I've always hated that with the dogs. This place. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do some, gonna do some things. Okay, uh, throwing knives I can use to draw people out. That's gonna be real handy. But first thing, I need the residence key. Yep. Bottomless, bottomless box. I would like to do some inventory management. Um, but not right now. Now, the rapier and the S-Doc, uh, I suppose somebody online is going to argue about which one is better. I, I really, honestly, don't care. I just, I've always liked the idea of uh, starting the game and kind of limiting myself to whatever I had available. So that's what I'm going to do. And uh, I can buy 82 arrows. Cool. Um, repair powder would be nice, but it's just so not needed in this particular game. Thank you kindly. Not really planning on leaving <laughs> messages, so I don't need any of that. So let's uh, let's finish this little little uh, side quest area. Yeah, run him through. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I know I'm drinking too much liquid here, but uh, if that makes my guy have to pee later, I guess we'll just have to survive. <laughs> yeah, okay. A little throwing knife there. Now, see, I didn't have to buy him earlier. Make that little jump there. Still having trouble with some of the basic controls, and I know I need to look them up, but I just haven't taken the time to do it. A light crossbow. That'll be handy. Yeah, those guys down there probably would be really excited to be able to get to me. I suppose I'm going to have to let them here eventually. He just... Can't steam it. Yeah, you're dead. Yeah, his free souls. Okay. Let's go back where we came from. Really don't need to make that particular trek again. I know I could do the uh, skip 
there to get down into the uh, valley, but I'm not really all that interested in it. I've only got two Estus, so I think what I'm going to do is uh, reload my Estus. And... Of course, I know that's these few guys are, are back, and they're going to... Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. Uh, the next area, I really need to learn how to kick for, but we're going to find out what has to happen. Let's... Uh, Goodbye. Now up this room. Oop. Yeah, you just you just need to die. Uh, now a strong attack through the wall here. Boom. There goes that guy. And he dropped me some armor. I don't need the armor. It's all right. Up in here. I don't need to. Check his, uh, oh, five firebombs. Yeah, those would be handy-ish if I don't die. Hmm. Goodbye. Up here, these three guys that have been... Blunk. I really shouldn't have fallen like that, but I did, so whatever. I think one of the other guys fell too, so I don't feel so bad. Yeah, you didn't need to throw anything at me, did you? And a soul. And... And run after this guy. Now, one thing you don't want to do <laughs> is forget to buy the residence key if you want the gold powder. I do. I want the pine resin. Because... And his little buddy is coming up the hallway here, so we'll... Clink. Yeah, I gotta remember how to kick, because that's that's really what you gotta do to break these guys' guard. 
or you know just wait for him to drink and then kill him hey there's a go the first little upgrade and in fact i think before i continue i'm going to do that um i do like getting my upgrades early i know that's not very sportsmanlike, but then again neither is this so here we go <laughs> um, I will deal with the Black Knight later. I'm just not doing all that marvelously. But, uh, yeah, I don't have any more healing. Nevertheless, let's fall through this trap. Yay, that's the first time I've never... Uh, this is, again, where I could take the key and I could go down there and get Havel's Ring. I'm just not really sold on the need for Havel's Ring right now. And beyond that, my parrying right now is less than stellar. I do wonder, though, whether or not I can get... Hmm. I don't know if I can get this guy. I got him. And a Titanite Chunk. Wow, that's, this gets me on the way to doing some of my first level upgrades. Um, do I have any other healing equipment that I could use? I don't really think that I do. I do not. But I'm going to want that. And I'm probably going to die. Let's try it. He's dead. All right. So here in just a few seconds, I'm going to actually, I think I'm going to homeward bone because I'm number one, I'm not ready. And number two, I do want to use that one upgrade. So I think what I can do is run down there, get that one upgrade. Just like that. And as soon as, there we go. Yeah, I know it's a long run, but I'm going to go down to kill a rat. A humanity? No. Really? You can't see me? I can see you. Camera's playing horrible with me right now. Goodbye.
Fire Lake Shrine is uh, definitely a beautiful area. It's one that I got used to hanging around all the time. We're going to go see Rickert and uh, see if there's a little upgrade he can work for us. There's only one, but hey, every little upgrade is a nice little upgrade, right? We're going to do that. That's kind of what this game is about. Play it your way. Um, you know, everybody has uh, their super meta, and I kind of like the Hunter's Armor. Anyhow, I know I'm kind of going random here, but everybody has their super meta. They think you ought to play it particular their way, and, uh, you know, if you're not uh, if you're not playing it my way, it's the highway, or, you know, those kind of goofy things. Oh, there we go. But, um... I think it kind of goes against the spirit of, the, of designing a game with this many weapons and this many armor combinations and really having the wide open world paths. Uh, hi. Hello there, Rickard. Yes, I know. I can hardly believe it. Hey, uh, it gives me an idea since you're a blacksmith. No, no, no. I don't want you to go hollow. I'd like to get you some to build me some stuff. There we go. Let's reinforce a weapon. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Ba-doom, ba -doom. Yeah, we're up to 82 now. And is there anything you can... No. No, I have no intentions. Although, nope, 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 nope. I have no intentions of using that. And, of course, there's nothing to ascend right now. Keep your head on. Oh, I plan on keeping my head on. It's easier than losing it. It's expensive. And then, uh, hmm, you know what? I think... What's the point of having a uh, what's the point of having a homeward bone if you can't use it, right? So let's go right back to our former bonfire with a little upgrade. And next time we come back, we're gonna head upstairs and uh, knock off that uh, first boss of the game. So let's do that next time, shall we?